Assalamualaikum everybody, this is Zoya Nasir. If you already follow me on Instagram, you might know that I'm a beautician and an actress. And I'm gonna share my knowledge of beauty, laughs, and lifestyle with you. I'm gonna show you how I do my daily signature look, as all of you guys ask a lot of times. So let me show you how I get to this. From this. I use sunscreen instead of a foundation. Do put sunscreen on before you put anything else on your skin because it creates a barrier. Um, it protects your skin from harmful products, especially paraben. So let's get started. I use this one. It's by Body Luxuries. You can find it in any drugstore, but I will be listing all the products uh, in the description. See, you can see the consistency is like a tinted moisturizer, and I actually just use it like a moisturizer. If you're having a good day and you don't have dark circles, then you can skip this part. So I use this one. Why did I take the cap off before? I'm... Ugh, okay. It's Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It erases dark circles. Literally. So I use this one. Who's missing? Nope. Here. Here. And you can see I have a little bit of blemishes going on. Again, I use my fingers. On to the next step, I'm gonna use a lip tint to give myself a rosy glow. But this one is from Body Shop and it's, I think it's 5,000 rupees. I would never buy it. My niece got this for me. Thank you, Risha. I love you. But a cheap alternative that I buy for myself is this one, Baby Lips. Um, and it's the shade, I don't know what the shade is. But very, very sure, but okay. Okay, on to the next part. I forgot what the next part was. Anyways, you can leave this look um, if you're going to the gym, if you're going down for breakfast, or just like a natural, normal day look. So if you don't want your makeup to melt, if you have a, if you have oily skin, use a face powder. I usually use the translucent one, but so let's get started with the. Uh, why do I keep saying that? Anyway, let's get started. So I want to mattify my look, but not too much. Don't use too much powder because your skin will appear as. Velvet, but we want it to be satin. See, so I mattified it a little bit. In order to achieve the cheekbones that I don't have and a defined jawline that I don't have, I use Master Sculpt by Maybelline. Again, it's a cheap alternative to Anastasia Control Kit and all that. And this brush I got from, I don't know, I think it's almost eight years old, but do wash the brushes, okay? It's a flat top. Point from the top of your ear, it should be pointing towards your lips, the point, the point of the corner of your lips. So like this, but I'm gonna stop it halfway through here. And blending is the key. So I deposited the product over here and now I'm not just dragging it down. See? And that's enough. That's all you need. Now for the jaw, I need to just double chin, I'm gonna contour it out of existence. Let me show you the difference. See? Good, right? Anyways, now on to a on cheek. Stop texting me. And now to get a taller nose, if you have a flat one like mine. See? You gotta start from here where your eyebrows start and just bring it all the way down. But don't color the entire nose, just like the top and no harsh lines. Onto the brow part, yeah. Because um, I don't know if you guys know, but if you're already following me or you watch my dramas, you know that I've had like super thick eyebrows. And because of the quarantine thing going on, I tried to pluck my own brows and I did this. So brush off any product that you have on your brows i.e. face powder and sunblock and then use the other side and I use this shade and again I don't know where this palette is from but my dear employee Asma she gave it to me she works from my salon yes I have a salon know about it soon enough after this whole pandemic is over inshallah I use because it's like you know it's portable it's handy so I use the blackest of black shade and I fill my brows with it I don't like a harsh line for my brows. I just fill in the sparse spots because I have sparse eyebrows. I don't like like a defined, defined brow, which I have now and before I did. Cause if you're aiming for like a natural look, nothing should be too perfect. Like your eyebrows should be sisters and not twins. On to the next part, which is NARS 
um, the blush on. It's called Gulu. Gulu? Gulu, I don't know. Show a smile. And put it on top of your contour. Do not bring it over here, otherwise, you're gonna look like a clown. Do not put it on the apple of your cheeks. Do not put it here, okay? It should be a little. Where's my highlight? Yeah, this one. This one was again given to me by my uncle. Thank you so much. Buy it because it's matte, soft, and gentle, but it is the best highlighter that I've seen. I think I would spend money on this one if I ran out of it, which I'm almost running out of. Take the same brush on top of where we where I applied the I applied the contour over here. I applied the blush over here. Now the highlighter will go here. What is it called? Bridge of my nose? Yes. My lip bowl, my chin, chin, <laughs> okay, chin, and what are these called? Corner of the eyes, inner corner of the eyes, yeah. And I have this brow bowl. And now I'm gonna create a depth for my eyes, which is called the crease cut, as all of you ladies know. So I use this color, this red brick color, I think. When my promotion, I think we're all familiar with that, so like, I don't know how to explain this. But deposit the product over here and just drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it and keep on dragging it, blending it then clean your brush, I'm cleaning it on my pajama and then take a matte lighter color this one is peachy, peachy matte color and put it on the inner one third and then take the black color again like anything with pre pre precision Now I have a brown fat eye to make it elongated. I take the black shape again and I go underneath my eye and I flick it. Just like that. And it elongates my eye a little bit without making it too harsh. So, did you see the difference? Oh my God, look at the difference. So I'm gonna do my eye, this one. Okay, now my now that my eyes look like sisters and not twins, to move on to my signature part of the look. A lot of you guys ask me about uh, my kajal, my V-line black liner for my inner eye, and a lot of you guys ask how I blend it underneath my eye and it never smudges because the key is I already smudge it myself so that it doesn't smudge later. So I already do the damage myself and it ended up looking nice and it kind of became my signature look. So this is almost finished. <laughs> Uh, but it's, it's kind of like a lipstick, but it's a kajal. Very good. So take this thing again, the brush that I use for my eyebrows, my eyeliner, and now my kajal. Take it. I put this product, the kajal, in my waterline. But uh, there's another thing. So I go, I do it like this. I already smudge it. I smudge it beforehand and it kind of, see? It looks nice. Apparently. That's all it is, guys. That's all for the signature look. It's so easy to achieve. On to the next part. A lot of you guys ask if I put false lashes on or ex eyelash extensions on. I don't. I just have curled long lashes for some reason. And I do not use hair extensions because I have dense hair. The, the mascara. I use this one. It's really good. Um, I applied three coats of this mascara. And it's short in the market. Plus, I cannot get it. So, it's completely dry. I'm using this one for now now. Now now? <laughs> I'm using this one for now. It's Color Studio Professional, something waterproof. Um, I would recommend that you stay away from waterproof mascara unless you have crying scenes, which you don't. And if you do, then, then use the waterproof form of this one. It's the same one, but it's blue. But instead, I'm going to use this one. So how I apply my mascara is just uh, deposit the product on your lash bed. I don't know how to say it. And then just wiggle up. I don't know how to explain this. I can just show you. And then that's the first coat. Now there's a second coat. I'm gonna try and apply mascara with my mouth shut. That is the second coat. Now the bottom part. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Look at the difference. Now I'm gonna put mascara on this side now. So we already put, uh, we, I already put the tint on, you can either use the cheap one or the fancy one. Oh. And we're 
done with the makeup. Now I'm gonna change my shirt real quick. Well, there you go. So that's it for the look, guys. I usually keep my uh, hair in a ponytail and Mama Joffrey, actually. She was nice enough to do my hair for me because I am a failure when it comes to technology and doing my own hair. But anyways, this look is perfect if you're a brown eyed tan girl like me. This look can uh, go from day to night, from birthdays to weddings. Uh, let me know if you liked it. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Let me know what kind of videos you would like me to post about in the future. All my love. Stay home, stay safe.